numbers in our community. Fortunately, over the past couple of weeks, our numbers have taken a severe turn for the worst. In the last seven days, we've had 218 positive cases. With a positivity rate uh, currently of about 5 to 7 percent with our testing. Part of the concern is that this um, will also uh, affect where we sit in the safer at home dial. Currently, we are situated at the level two, uh, and, and we've been able to enjoy our variances and, and the privileges that come along with that. The current numbers are uh, pushing us now towards a level three. We're not currently in that level, but if the, the state has put us on notice as of Friday that um, if we do not make changes in our numbers over the next few weeks, that we will be uh, ratcheted back into those to that uh, safer level. So that means that um, businesses would be at 25% capacity. Our variances would go away. So places that we have variances for, such as bars, would likely have to close. Um, the capacity within indoor events would, would go down to uh, 75. Our outdoor event, event uh, numbers would also decrease. We don't want to go back to level three on the COVID dial, but if we don't do something different, that's exactly where we'll be. Holidays, as I say, need to be different. We need to avoid those large family gatherings. For Christmas, Thanksgiving, Hanukkah, making tamales for birthdays. Spending hours indoors with friends and family is how this virus is going to spread. Getting that large group of people together in a small space will be catastrophic. Uh, we are right on the cusp of losing uh, some of those options that we uh, have been uh, enjoying in our community here over the past several months. Uh, and that's, that's really important to get out. Um, so as a community, we are going to have to pull together uh, to try and reverse these numbers and reverse course so that we can try to keep uh, things open. Everybody is obviously tired of, of this illness. But we're going to have to live with it probably for the next six months, maybe longer. Who knows? We're all hopeful that a vaccine that's effective will be developed and that people will take it and that we'll be able to get back to a more semblance of normal. But um, this is the now normal that we have. And this year is going to be different. It has to be different if we're going to have as many people survive this as possible.